you will know like how you will become a fast lane entrepreneur now and how you can become fast lane entrepreneur so let me start this uh, session which is on the fast lane entrepreneurship so what is this fast lane entrepreneurship why i'm talking about this fast lane entrepreneurship so let me give you some idea for that you can only become truly accomplish at something you love don't make money your goal instead pursue the thing you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off you and here this is something which you are going to learn from one of the the most demanding book one of the the best seller book the millionaire fast lane i like to introduce this uh, author or millionaire or billionaire i can say mj d marco i have taken certain ideas from this book i can say most of the ideas are from this book only and that's why i would like to say the reference is mj d marco the millionaire fast lane now why am i have taken this book why i purchased this book and why i'm asking everyone to go through this book is because there are certain ideas which are so important for all of us to incorporate and become the millionaires for in our life and that to at engage so how you can become millionaire at engage and the next level maybe could be you can say billionaire also so here i'll be discussing about this book where as well as i'll be discussing about my own entrepreneurship journey as well as we'll talk about the careers as a entrepreneurship so about mj de marco he grew up in chicago eating ice cream and changing the tv channel with a broomstick now he is he is living in the uh, phoenix and regularly invest time on his blog and the blog is the fast lane forum many people want to change change their life but they are not willing to change their choices and ultimately this changes nothing we all are thinking like okay how we can change our life how we can have a better lifestyle but are we thinking about to change the choices which gives you that life which you are expecting that's what mj de marco's quote so let me start with the agenda and also tell you like more about this mj de marco and the entrepreneurship here now let me do why i am taking this example because most of you guys are youth right now and all of you can start this journey of entrepreneurship at this age itself mostly what we here from the money gurus that you can be a wealthy over the 40 years but let me do mj de marco has become wealthy and millionaire at the age of 30 and he is living his retired life and the reason why he is able to enjoy the millionaire lifestyle at the age of 30 because he chose the path of fast lane and that's why i recommend all of you to understand what is this millionaire pathway or what is this entrepreneurship pathway itself now agenda for my today's session is to understand or give you idea what is first of all the entrepreneurship is and what is this fast lane entrepreneurship means here what is something new here and we'll also discuss about the three wealth personalities the sidewalk road map the slow lane road map and the fast lane road map along with that i'll be adding some more things that is the differences between these three types of personality yes am i audible yes sir yes. okay so sidewalker personality versus slow lane personalities versus fast lane personality what is the difference between these three types of personality 
and you are going to choose one of the personality. Decide it today that which personality you would like to become. I'll be also discussing about the five fast lane commandment. And we'll also discuss and give the ideas about entrepreneurship career. And finally, we'll have a discussion about uh, companies entrepreneurship, like how we can give the entrepreneurship pathway to you. We do have a pathway for all of you guys. And that I will be discussing, like how the company GKTCS Innovation has started this career pathway for all of you. And we'll discuss the question and answer. Now, entrepreneurship is a living a few years of your life like most people won't want. I've been hearing, listening about entrepreneurship that entrepreneurs are, you know, like 90% failure. Sometimes we say 98% failure. And we have seen the entrepreneurs uh, bankrupt or somewhere entrepreneur, we have seen like, you know, they are struggling a lot for their survival itself. That is a kind of mindset about the entrepreneurship. And that's why you say that entrepreneurship is living a few years of life like a, most people won't. So that you can spend the rest of your life like a, most people can't now. This statement is a twisted statement now. What you see as an entrepreneur right now, maybe they are a struggler right now. Maybe the initial stage is a, a hardship for all the entrepreneurship. But the later stage, with that persuasion, with that hard work, what the entrepreneur does, what the entrepreneur can do, or the kind of lifestyle the entrepreneur can live, is something the other people won't able to live that lifestyle. Here I'll be giving you several examples of this statement itself. So what is this entrepreneurship is all about? It is the process of creating a new enterprise. That is what we know. Like, like if you want to be an entrepreneur, means to start the new enterprise. But how? With a risk. Kind of risk? It will be a calculated risk, I can say. What is expected that, yes, there is a risk involved, but the risk involved is a calculated risk here. So, but then what is the objective of this is to make the profit. That is what we, we know about the entrepreneurship all about. Something more we know about that entrepreneurship is like making a business venture in order to gain the profit by taking the several risks in the corporate world. That is also a, one of the term of entrepreneurship. Here, I'll be taking this topic along with the various code as well as we'll give the guidelines about the fast lane entrepreneurship. Now we are talking about to start something new, something innovation. And the, when you say innovation, the guru comes here, Steve Jobs. And what the Steve Jobs says, I'm convinced that about half of what separates successful entrepreneurs from non-successful one is a pure perseverance. Are you following? Are you consistent? Or do you have that willingness to do something innovative? If you are having that innovation in your mind, think to start your entrepreneurship journey now. So here, entrepreneurship is the willingness to start new and start something new with a new ideas. I hope like you know now what is entrepreneurship is all about. Now, my topic is not entrepreneurship. My topic is something about fast lane entrepreneurship here. Now, what is this fast lane I'm talking about? We know we have express highway, we know there is a hyperloop. And that is something we talk about the fast lane. But what is this fast lane of as an entrepreneurship now? Let me do this fast lane is something which will make you rich at early age. This is a fast lane which will make you entrepreneur and successful entrepreneur at early age. 
not after 60. The objective is to enjoy the life at a young age, not after the retirement of 65 years old. Mostly what we know is that do the job till the year of 65 and then they enjoy life. But do you know, can you enjoy life after 65 the way the way you can enjoy at this age? The answer is no. You can just dream about it. But to enjoy life, this is the age. And for enjoying at early age, you need to learn fast lane entrepreneurship. And if you are learning and practicing, it's not just learning, you're practicing, then only you can become fast lane entrepreneur. So it is the state of wealth that is characterized by abundance. You don't trade your time for money. Here, what is important is your time. And you are thinking about each and every minute here, how you can utilize your time, because this is the right time to start the entrepreneurship journey here. And you should have the control on that wealth generation factor. That is what we are talking about, the fast lane entrepreneurship here. The fast lane entrepreneurship is a kind of entrepreneur lifestyle for the people who won't want to retire young, don't want to follow the conventional get rich roadmap. That is what I say, like conventional get rich roadmap is to get wealthy, but after the retirement. But fast lane is not for that. It's something which you can do it at early age. And fast lane isn't about being retired old with the millions, but about redefining wealth, which include the fun at the early age, that is youth fun. Have a freedom at early age. Now here I'll be talking about what the freedom I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the freedom means do as per your wish or do as per your, I'm talking about the entrepreneurship freedom here. The freelancer, your skill, what you want to do, that you can do it in the entrepreneurship. We talk about prosperity and if you really want to get rich within a, the time frame, maybe you can say minimum five years to the 10 years, you will require to understand the principle of fast lane entrepreneurship now. Now what we talk about through wealth, we talk about family, we talk about the relationship, that's a true wealth. So wealth is not just the money here. I will not be saying that wealth is just money. Wealth is something where we say there is a family, there is a relationship. There's a fitness, the health is a wealth that we don't talk about. The freedom and the choice. So here you're going to achieve the wealth, not the money I'm talking about. I'm not just talking about money because you may have misconception that, okay, if I'm talking about wealth, it means just money is not like that. Money is a one of the wealth. It's obviously the most important factor, but I'll be talking something beyond the money also. And what is that? I just now say the three F. What is this road trip I'm talking about? Wealth is forged by a careful crafted process. There is a process to generate the wealth. And we have to have that, or to understand that process now. So wealth is not the event, but a journey. And this is a road trip. We are going to understand how you are going to achieve this wealth in a step-by-step -step manner. So the road wealth, the road trip to the wealth is having the four ingredients. The first one, your roadmap. And this roadmap is gui guiding you, will be guiding you for every decision which you are going to make. Because you are the driver. And this as a driver means you are the owner of this particular roadmap. You are going to drive your vehicle, nobody else. Now you have the complete control on that vehicle and decide now which route you like to choose now. So here I'm not going to make you reach. 
here you yourself is going to make yourself rich now now how it is based on your own decision making your decision is going to decide whether you like to be a rich at early age or at the old age so it's your decision now i'll be guiding you and telling you like which particular road map will make you rich at early age and which road map will make it at later age so this is a road map which is guiding you which is a guiding post behind that every decision you make and you are the vehicle for this you are the you are the vehicle so your vehicle is you nobody else that's your strength your skill your strength and no one can drive you to make your financial destination you are the one who is going to make your own destination now your roads roads are the financial pathways that leads to the wealth you can be an engineer or a plumber or a truck driver or someone who is working in the bank that's your road that's your pathway now how you can choose the pathway to make a reach to become a reach at earlier now what is that speed you are going to carry now you have selected the pathway which of the pathway you selected let me tell you here this is the process to reach to uh, you know to travel that pathway is a process which you are going to learn here what is that speed you are going to execute important thing is most of us having the ideas but are you going to execute if you just have idea and if you are not implementing then that idea is of no use what is important is not just to know the something or just have certain idea but to have the ability to go from idea to implementation i'll be giving you certain ideas to select this fast lane road map so there are three road map i'm talking about the first road map is a sidewalk to poorness and let me tell you in india or in the most of the population they are following the road map of sidewalk which is to poorness the second road map is a slow line or slow lane to mediocrity and the third one is a fast lane to the wealth so there are the three road map which we are going to discuss here now or uh, am i uh, is there is something like a uh, voice is not clear let me check the whether the voice is clear or not yes, is sir, it clear or not clear. okay okay just want to check once again uh, because i could see uh, there is some okay thank you okay so let us discuss and understand this road map now what this road map is all about first road map the sidewalk now you can see the image and understand what the sidewalk road map is you are going slow maybe by the vehicle which is very very slow and you are you know living the life of in the poverty here the sidewalk road map i'll be talking about more about what is sidewalk road map means the second one is good that is a slow lane slow lane road map and let me tell you like most of us who are doing the job right now are following the slow lane road map and the third one which i'm talking about right now is a fast lane road map what is that this is a road map which will make you reach at early age not at a old age giving you idea more idea about this road map now so there are three types of personality 
which you will see one the sidewalk let's assume the sidewalker william now and the another personality is a slow lane steven the third one is a fast lane frank now these three people are going to have a three different role and now we are going to see who is going to become rich and how that particular personality is going to become millionaire at early age what is that calculation there is a mathematics behind it i am not going to say some theory here i'll be telling you the mathematics the formula how this you are, you can achieve at early age but yes there are certain condition which you will require to follow yes there are certain control which you will require to do here and i'll be talking about those five commandment also what the william says he is mostly chasing for the job changing the job from one job to another job struggling for the job every time oh i am so frustrated i am sometimes getting the job and sometimes i am not getting sometimes my boss is always you know you know saying that you are not performing well and the way i am okay i want to enjoy my life there is no tomorrow as per the time is concerned i have a money but i can have the bread and butter twice a day and i can enjoy in that sidewalk williams thinking you can understand now what the sidewalk william is saying that okay i will save my money and we we'll have my you know a uh, two times spread so that's what the sidewalk william says whereas the slow lane steven what he says oh i will work hard i will build the skill and will work in the fortune 500 company as an employee of the organization yes i will earn money i will have salary great salary from the companies that's what the 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 steven says and i will trade for the money whoever will give the more salary i will work for them that's the slow lane steven says what the frank is saying frank is something different he is having the different personality let me tell you about the steven one more thing that the the destination goal for the steven is he is going to have the comfortable life and he will get retired at the age of 65 and this is the road map which is there for most of us as a employee yes you will have the life comfortable life and you will get retired at the age of 65 but about the dream life not sure about it right but let me tell you now about the frank he is a fast lane entrepreneur now and our objective of this session is to tell you how to become a fast lane entrepreneur he is not just a person of you know like walking like just employee he is beyond someone employee and who is he he is a investor he invests his money for the business and multiply it in the kind of business he does i'm not talking about just the business he's he's a entrepreneur and he's a fast lane entrepreneur who generate the highest values through his business and he is the person who create something new and gives a employment to the millions he believes in passive income passive income as well as leveraging he is having certain dream and he works for his dream he works so hard so that he can achieve his dream at early age now let me tell you about the fast lane planner how is his thinking because it is about the mindset here sidewalker thinking they are finishing their graduation they stop at graduation and their education is done he say i did i learn lot i did my graduation whereas the slow learner they are saying that more i learn the more i earn so like me <laughs> so i i always say like more i learn more i earn and i like, like you all of you guys now here whoever is attending they will say like more i learn more i earn that's right there's nothing 
but let me do something more in the fast laner here. And what the fast laner entrepreneur saying? Learning equals living. It's a continuous learning, and his living is all like here. There's a little bit difference here. Both are learners, but here the fast learner is learning for better lifestyle. He is learning for his business. He is learning to do better business. His learning is having his connected to dream. His learning is connected to his living lifestyle. Now he is not just learner, but he, he is having certain he or she is having certain goal, some dream, and for that he is learning. Learning is there in all the three cases. But at one stage, only the sidewalker, except the sidewalker, he may not think about learning. But the fast learner and the slow learner, both are learning. Now understand the differences between these both learner, slow learner, as well as fast learner. Both can have the comfortable life. There's a difference, little bit difference here now, and that difference is all about thinking now. How about the timing? When you talk about the sidewalker, for the sidewalker thinking or the mindset, say tomorrow might never come, so live for today. Uh, have fun, have a party, enjoy, go for party, whatever you want, spend money. I'm not talking about investment here. Just spending money. Okay, you got a salary of ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. Spend that twenty thousand and have a little bit of saving. That's it. That's what the sidewalker think about. What about the slow learner think about? I have got plenty of time, so I can make more money. Slow learner is at the time. And he said, "Like yes, I can." But in the case of fast learner, what he thinks for him, time is the most valuable asset. The most valuable asset for the the fast learner is a time, not even money. Slow learner is having the most important asset as a money. What the slow learner think is all about money, but what the fast learner think is all about the time, because the time is the most valuable asset for the fast learner. How do you manage your time? How do you use that time? Because everybody is having equal amount of time here. Now you have twenty-four hours for everyone. Now, what you do with that twenty-four hour? That is what the fast learner thing. How you schedule your work? What kind of value you generate in that twenty-four hour? That is what the fast learner think here. Whereas, slow learner think about: okay, I have earned money now. I can think about how I can earn money, how I can earn more, or how I can spend money there. That's what the difference here now. In terms of the money here, the slide walkers talk about the credit enables to buy today. He will buy something with a credit. He will say, "Okay, I will take money from my brother, my family members, or from somebody, and then I will have a, you know, my own lifestyle." Slow learner is a scars and must be saved. He said, "Okay, I will save my money." Mostly, the working professional comes under the slow learner. Whereas the fast learner is everywhere, everywhere I look. So what he said about money, he he said like money is everywhere. Money is in whatever he does, and that is what the fast learner mentality says about the debt. About the debt, he said like billionaires will take care of it. Whereas the slow learner said. Debt is an evil and must be snowballed. Whereas the fast learner said, "Debt is useful as it helps me to build my asset." So, what the debt I'm talking about? The debt is for investment to make multi multiply the money. So, the fast learner may invest money, maybe take may take the loan some cases, but then all that is only for the business. 
to increase the business and increase the asset value here. Now, this three personality is having the action. Let us understand the action here. And also, we will see where these three personality reach. The slow learner, the sidewalker, and the fast learner. In case of slow learner, or you can say the sidewalker first, he generally attends the high school, trade time for the money, and lives mindlessly day to day. So kind of lifestyle the, the sidewalker we are talking about, yes, he is also, he or she is going to the high school education and whatever the business he does, like it just for the money. Like if he's giving, getting the money, let's say he's a, a fruit a seller or maybe uh, having the shop, having a small shop and based on what he does, he get the money. What is the trade he does, get the money. Whereas the slow dinner, Stroner uh, uh, religiously works for 40 years, works hard. And that his life is more for the, for the company. And he, he tried to save money every time and try to invest in a stock market also and retire at the age of 70 plus. But that time, you know what happened. You are having the retirement and again, you are still not fulfill your dream. That is what the slow dinner say. Whereas, now something here, this is the most important point which I like to say here. That is about the fast learner. He just not just do the education, but learn the skills. There's a difference between the education and the skills here. How many skills you are building here? That matters. Build the digital asset. Now, whoever the fast lane I'm talking about, you know, like the Jay Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, all these are Elon Musk. They all are the example of the fast learner we're talking about. What the skills they have developed, that is very important. Even the Bill Gates, the kind of skill he has built, that is more important here. The kind of digital asset, this all fast learner has made, created is the most important. Think about them, like the Amazon is having that kind of a, the portal, the Amazon portal, which is the creating the, the fast lane. It's like the fast lane entrepreneurship. And there are many more youngster who are created that digital asset. They are the fast learner we're talking about. They are not just talking about the asset which the other, the slow learner are making. Here, the asset which is having the immense values. And these are the entrepreneurs the fast lane entrepreneur who create the immense values for the people. And their time, what you see is the, the kind of freedom they enjoy. At the end, the destination for, if you look at all the three personality, the sidewalker, the end is poverty. Slow learner, the end is mediocrity. But that is a destination where the sidewalker reach, whereas the fast learner is the fulfillment of his desire, his life. And that's what the difference between these three types of personality. So how is this uh, sidewalker spins and who is this kind of, what is the kind of personality here? Now, the sidewalker is a spenders. Mostly they are spending times, they are spending, you know, money, Focus on instant gratification. I want it now. And there's no long-term plan. If you ask any sidewalker, what is his, what is your goal for the for the one year? Sidewalkers, I don't know. I just know about today. I don't have any goal. You ask to the, you know, the at least the, you can say the slow learner. He will say, at least I have some plan for, you know, for my future. The slow learner has at least certain plan, but sidewalker, 
is not having the plan also. So here the slow reader is saving diligently towards the retirement and thinking, okay, I will have my money at the retirement. Whereas, now here there's a very, very important point which I would like to say about the fast learner entrepreneur now. What I'm saying here, if you really want to become a fast learner entrepreneur, you will require to become the producer, not just the consumer. We are consumer in many cases. We are buying something. We are watching TV. We are the consumer. We are the audience. So if we are just wasting our time or spending our time just watching the television, you are not creating anything. So think here as a producer. Fast learner are the producer. What is that new product you are creating? What is that innovation you are doing? Here the fast learner, they are discussing about the, the product, the ideas. And they think, okay, this is the, my new product which I'm going to launch now. This is my digital asset. Here I will always talk about the creativity. And I will work hard to make that product. Maybe five years, 10 years, I will work hard for that. The consistency is there to create that product, that digital asset, the fast learner. Here I do not want to work my entire life and then get retired at the age of 70 in the case of fast learner. Here, I will work so hard, this five to 10 years that my business gets settled and that business is giving me freedom. I should make that business, which is automatically generating the, the money rather than working every day for that business. Here I'm talking about that kind of business where we talk about automation. Are you thinking about to have automation now? I'm talking about the business, like talk about the Amazon automation. Any business you see like when is an automation, there is a scalability. And whoever, like take the, even the a small application, WhatsApp who has created automation. The business where there's an intelligence involved, business where there's a skill involved, business where there's an automation, that is the kind of business we are talking about. Business where there's a creativity involved, the innovation is involved. Here there's a fast lane entrepreneur. Fast lane entrepreneurs are the producer and not just consumer. Yes, you are the consumer in some cases, but I'm not talking, I'm just saying, not just consumer, I'm saying this is what is important. So you are the producer also. What is that you are going to produce now? What is that skill you are going to build to produce something and that can help to the millions of people? If you can produce something, you are the fast learner. If you cannot, you are the slow learner or the sidewalker. Decide what you like to be. Would like to be a sidewalker or a slow learner? That's your choice. Your choice to be a producer or consumer that you decide now. Who spend just five to 10 years working hard and their business to achieve the financial freedom at the earlier age. You may become YouTuber. You can become the author of certain books, writer books. You may have great blogger. You may have having that, that digital asset where you are creating the lead generation program. You have the digital marketing skill. You have that artificial intelligence skill. You have that skill of automation. You have that programming skill. And if you have that programming skill, use that skill and become. Become that fast learner entrepreneur. Here I'll be telling you and the guiding you how you can become the fast learner entrepreneur. And why I'm guiding you, who am I? Let me know, I have already entered into this fast learner entrepreneurship now. And that's why I'm able to, I'm, I'm, I'm eligible for this to say about. Otherwise, if I could have not been into that, I could have, I could have not been the eligible to say about the fast lane entrepreneurship. So fast lane entrepreneurship is all about thinking, first of all. It is about the mindset. It is not just about becoming millionaire or billionaire here. What is that kind of mindset which you can learn 
and you you do not require to leave the job for that it is all about the mindset i'm talking about giving you more idea about the the differences between the the sidewalk to the poorness and the uh, and the uh, and also we'll tell you about uh, what the slow dinner is now so i told you like the guys who are or the those those who think like uh, having the the mediocre thinking or the small thinking they they are the people who actually think about okay i i will earn today and will survive today that's it that's the sidewalk so they are mostly the homeless or bankrupt having so much of you know money which is debt uh, they are having so there is something where uh, they are not actually you know having any recognition in the society also and this is what the sidewalker route is so sidewalker uh he is having some his own thinking the, about the the direct perception is that credit allows you to buy things now you think about credit card what i want is right now i don't want to think about tomorrow that's what the sidewalker think about the time the sidewalker there's a uh, enough time and you could live uh, dead in a uh, two week away anyway so that's what we talk about okay i have only two weeks of my life and that's what the sidewalker as per the education i told you that the sidewalker has a just finish the school grad graduate and just start earning and uh, that's the main objective here now this is i already given you idea about the sidewalker and sidewalker think about the you know whatever you know whoever is going to pay income based on that you are going to work here so you are driven by the money here and also think about luck okay when i will get my luck sidewalker you think about luck if oh why i i'm not become because i'm not lucky why i could not get money because i'm not lucky okay only lucky person can become rich that is what the side walker thing so let me you like your accelerator is luck if you are lucky then you become rich if you are not you are the uh, poor in that case that's what the side walker mindset means about the wealth perception the one with the most toys wins about the destination i live for the today i am not bothered about tomorrow that is what the sidewalker so i have given you all that points which are which are there for the sidewalker about the responsibility here the sidewalkers responsibility and the control he is mostly the victim of mentality the kind of mentality the sidewalker is having is just like you know oh i don't i cannot take the more responsibility it all depends on the government i can just blame the government or i can bear blame to the uh, system or whoever is beside besides my family i can blame to the family sidewalker just are blamer they just do like to criticize others rather than taking the responsibility they are the victim mentality what the sidewalker think is life is too short to plan ahead oh mostly my some of my friends are saying oh why to think about future think about today we have a short life we don't know what will happen tomorrow that's what the sidewalker mindset is sidewalker is a money blind they don't care about how much money you make they don't care about the the or think about the poor money they have the poor money management now let me give the you know something more about uh, the slow lane road map now now the slow lane road map most of them most of us are already traveling that what is that we all are educating ourselves to get the job you know mostly the slow learner they are just thinking about job hoping one job to another job second job third job fourth job why job hoping is just because that is the way the slow lane road map is they want work in the organization to produce something they are not working also in the organization to add certain values what they are doing is just okay i will do whatever like you know the salary i will just like to work for only for the salary getting a job having the retirement save the 10% of paycheck that's what the slow lane road map says and here it is convenient exit for the sidewalk sidewalk can exit at any point of time whenever you wish to will just leave the job and what about the slow lane offers promises for the he say like at the age of you know 65 i'll become rich that's what the the slow lane talk about the retirement 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 
and I will enjoy the fruits. That is what the slow leaner say, like at the age of 65 or 70, that's what the slow leaner mindset all talk about. So here, the slow leaner mindset is very, very different. It's, uh, it's saying, okay, I will earn money, I will have a job, and that is the way the, the, the slow leaner talk about. And slow leaner is having the, the time. Is having the time, but not having the, the enough money. Education is there, okay? That, that is important for making more money. As long as you can get more money, you will be a slow leaner now. Now here I'm talking about the mindset, giving you some differences between the, the mindset as an employee and mindset as an entrepreneur. Now this uh, differences will give the clear idea like the, the side uh, laner and the fast laner entrepreneur. Mostly when you talk about employee, they say the nine to five work, something to get away from. And we are not happy with that. If you are not happy, still you are working nine to five because just that's what the way that you get money. If you don't work, you won't get money. The object is just to do nine to five duty. The serious effort, something to do for a, a short period of time. I will try to do something in a short period of time. Now, what the entrepreneur talk about? For him, the work is something to be excited about. He is not just working because somebody is asking to work, but the entrepreneur thing that he's working with his passion or her passion and having the serious effort, something to do all the time. Entrepreneur thing all the time about doing the business, doing the, you know, building the skill, developing his own personality, thinking about his own self-development. That is what entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is not just think about nine to five. He said like, I'll work for till the time I'm not able to achieve what the dream is. About the, the support. Support, if you talk about the employee, sometimes uh, something they deserve. And is about the support in the case of entrepreneur, some, something they create. Now here, the, they are getting the support from somebody else in the employee case, whereas uh, the entrepreneur, they, they create, they actually give the support to others. What about the income? Income to be received immediately. What the, the slow error or employee think about, I need an income immediately. Whereas the entrepreneur think about the something to be earned later. So entrepreneur is not thinking about immediate money here. What entrepreneur is thinking, okay, I am going to make money. Maybe it will take some time. That is what the way the entrepreneur work. I think you got certain idea about what the slow lane mindset means and the, the fast lane mindset means here. And here, this is not just about idea. I'll be giving you the certain action, which will tell you like, okay, which is the, the roadmap for the fast lane here. When talk about the money, in the case of slow lane mindset, each and every rupees must be accounted for because money is a scarce. So there is always shortage of money in the case of slow lane mindset. And we always count, okay, how much money every day I spend, how much money every month I spend, what is my budget, every, talk, every time we talk about budget here. Whereas, uh, okay, the fast lane I will talk about something more later that here we talk about the prime income source is a job, is a prime source of income in the slow lane mindset. And the prime wealth accelerator is a compound interest or maybe the investment, you can say. So that way the money gets. Yes, slow lane mindset also can have very good money as a return. If you save it, you may get a, a range of the saving between, between the 20 lakh to 1 CR. And that is something which is a, the mostly the slow in our gate. And the destination is having the comfortable retirement in the uh, twilight years. What about the responsibility and the control? How much is the responsibility does slow in a take? Are they taking, are they taking the responsibility of uh, the organization? So they are taking the, what they're doing is they're working to provide for the family. They're working, the response is about family. And 
they are all bills on the employer now or the government or the state of the economy they are dependent and the life position is they are settled for the less and give up on any dreams they say okay we will adjust for the slow learner they are having the equation that is the the wealth is is their job plus wealth asset is a market investment so their money is all based on the investment and you are trying to trade uh, in a equity or in a mutual fund in that case so even the slow learner comes into the investment okay they are investing money in mutual fund or in equity but fast learner is having something different lifestyles everything different that is what we are going to learn now what this fast learner roadmap personality is all about as i said i'll be telling you in detail so now let me give you the idea about the fast learner roadmap and the kind of thinking the mindset the fast learner roadmap fast learner entrepreneur should have mostly the fast learner are the are the business type only so they are having a very different kind of lifestyle you must have seen for them the time is a money every minute they spend they they just say like where they are investing they are having that investment of time not just money here so time matters a lot for them so for example here i'll give the example here that if someone uh, is getting some product in the market let's say of 100 rupees and let's say uh, in the market which is uh, almost let's say uh, around 10 km far there you are getting that product in 100 rupees and there is a near to the market you have that getting the same product in a 150 rupees as a slow learner you will think about that that product whichever you are buying maybe a a product could be a fruits let's say a 1 kg apple and here there is a there are you know you can say the what the slow learner will do or the the, the will think about okay i am getting that apple in a 100 rupees uh, uh in a market i will buy from that market whereas the fast learner will think about how much time i'm going to you know waste while traveling from my place to that market which is 10 km far fast learner will think okay can i get something quickly where i slowly will think about oh i can save my 50 rupees here the slow learner is saving money by giving the time because for the slow learner they have in the more time fast learner think about time can i get something instantly i will go for it is okay to you know spend 50 rupees more why because for the fast learner time matters your time is a money for the fast learner and that's why i say like we are going to learn that why time is so important because every time you invest in the business is going to multiply your money here and that is why you have a, a controllable unlimited leverage here it creates the optimal environments for the rapid wealth creation and extraordinary lifestyle fast learner is having a very different kind of lifestyle they are not actually like you know we are living as of now our lifestyle is also not that rich as the fast learner entrepreneur is having their lifestyle is really really different about the debt they are using the debt for the investment purpose for the growing the business about the time for them the most important factor is a time here and one of the important factor is a education but the education for the growth learning is important for the growth it is not just learning but is that learning is going to add value to you or not that matters in the fast learning mindset here so you are learning for building the skill you are not just learning for the sake of learning not for the degree not for the degree let me tell you here this is very important point because the fast learner they don't think about degree they think about the skills the fast learner think about the skills which you said it is not the just degree from which university you are taking now slow learner think about the degree fast learner they don't think about degree what they think is what skill set they are building in the same tenure which you are you know getting in the 
the education. So important is a skill. And which skill which gives you more money? The skills which you can sell, the skill which gives you value, the skill which allow you to make the business, the skill which allow you to become entrepreneur, the skill which allows you to create a business system, the skill which will allow you to become billionaires, the skill which allows you to become millionaires. So that is that skill which you need to build. And here you are focusing about your own self-development, your own mindset, because the, you are the vehicle of the fast dinner entrepreneur, not somebody else. So here, the complete things, that the entire thing, it depends on you as an entrepreneur, so not somebody else. So there is nobody else who is going to tell you, you are the one. You have to guide to yourself, you have to make your mindset, you have to work hard every day, and you have to pursue that dream which you want to achieve. You have to get up early, you have to start your journey early. And early you start, early you become billionaire. Early you become a millionaire because you are the person who is going to start something. Who is the person going to give the value to the millions? You are the person who is going to develop the business system. We think about money is everywhere. You can make money. There's nothing like you cannot make money. You have that confidence. You have that courage. You have that skills. That skills makes you money. So it reflects the value you create. What value you are creating for others? That is important in the past and mindset. Are you creating certain values? If you are not, you are not the fast learner. You are the sidewalker. Are you creating certain values? And your primary source of income, as I say, is your business system and the investment where you are doing. Your system where you are investing your time, your money, your energy, that is what your primary source of income. Your primary wealth accelerator is making something out of nothing. You are the innovator, you are the creator. You think about production, you think about producing more wealth, you think about how I can product more units, more products, more sale. You are thinking is different. You're thinking about okay, what can what value I can give it to the consumer? I think about consumer, I think about the customer, the whoever is my consumer he is. Think about how you can give that value. That is what the fast learner think about. The wealth perception is very different for the fast learner. Your focus is completely a business system which generate the cash flow, which generate the cash flow and the asset valuation. Your asset is increasing, your digital asset is increasing. Your destination is a lifetime passive income. Passive income, how many of you think about passive income here? What is that passive income? Do you have that values? Are you having that branding? Are you making your brand? Are you making your own product? Are you having that product which is to sell? Do you have that system? Do you have that application? Are you that entrepreneur, the entrepreneur with an innovation? Having that programming skill to build your products. Life is what you make of it. Only you can choose how you can react to the circumstances. You always have a certain challenges, but it is your choice now. Your dream, your dream is most important in this case. Whatever way it is, if you have that dream to innovate, your dream to create, if you have dream to do something for the society, to help the people, your dream is to help the people, it's not just to make money for your family. Do you have that dream so that you can help the society, to the millions of people? Do you have that product? If you have, you are the fast learner. Formula is very simple. You create such a product where even you generate, let's say, in a rupees, a thousand rupees per unit or a 10 rupees per unit, let's take the 10 rupees per unit, but you are selling that 10 rupees per unit product to the millions. You become millionaire because that product is having certain value and we are generating just the 10 rupees per, per uh, unit, you become millionaire. So formula is very simple here. So you can produce by your, uh, uh, the lead generation, the digital marketing and all. So the first lane is a business system. So till now I was saying like, what is the fast lane? What is that fast lane? Let me look, it's a business system. I'm talking about that business system here. I'm not talking about the job. I'm not talking about something 
where you have dependency, 100% dependency. I'm talking about creating that business system, which the slow learner also gives you the job. In the slow lane, you trade your time for your employer's cash, while in the fast lane, your wealth creation is driven by the business system. And the fast lane formula is very simple. That is the net profit plus asset value. Here, asset value is all about your net profit and the industry, how many you make. That is the way the wealth is. So how many industry you are going to generate? How many branches you are going to open? The fast lane roadmap is engineer for two purpose. One thing is to create a passive income stream. And second is to have a, you're, a, you're having the expenses and the lifestyle, whatever you want. The second thing is to make the financial freedom a reality. The exclusive of age and here age doesn't matter. So here we think about passive income stream. Here we think about to have a, a better lifestyle, right? And, uh, and having the financial freedom at early age. Okay, so now let me give the example of the fast linear. See, what are that, you know, the system? So there are various system which you can think about. I'm not going to say that you are going to have the same system. Some fast lenders are into the domain where they have the real estate uh, rental system. Some fast lenders, they have a rental system. They're having a lots of, uh, you know, this asset and they're generating the rent. That's, that could be the, one of the, uh, the source of income. So that's a passive income I'm talking about. So this fast lender, they're having a, a huge amount of uh, real estate asset and they're giving it out rented basis, maybe the commercial asset. And every month they are getting, you know, the rent from the, uh, you know, the passive as a passive income. And then they are having the free time afterwards. So that is a, one of the, the monthly income source for the fast lender. And this is something for you now. A fast lender who is thinking about to have a software development, to think about something application development, something which is innovative, something which is useful, having something, uh, a digital asset, having that internet-based technologies, which allows you to sell at a, you know, uh, to the global levels. So here we talk about the uh, computer system or software system we talk about. That's another thing which you can think about as a fast thing to think about. Like we have the various application like the Facebook, Instagram, who already generated that fast income. You know, the Instagram has created that a millions, you can say the hundred millions in a 10 year span. Same way, there are various companies like Facebook and all, they created that YouTuber and all who started, uh, you know, from zero and then they are now at a millions. One more settling, business settling I'm talking about is a content system. Now, many of you having the talent of writing, having that content creativity, you can create the great content and think like you can author or maybe you can be a famous author and you have that book written, which is uh, like or by like by the or by, you know, uh, the, there are more followers for that book, what you wrote is the best seller book you can say. You're thinking about writing that best seller book your content generator, your content creator, where there are uh, millions who are liking your content, your YouTuber or your digital content writer, so whatever it is. So that is the kind of system I'm talking about, the content system. This includes your books, your blogs, your social networking. So all that comes as a, a content system. The next one is a distribution system, which is that distribution system I'm talking about. Something by which you can sell. This is a system which is like a Amazon, who is allowing you to sell something at global level. So a system allows you to sell. Now there are so many, uh, you know, manufacturer. They are having the manufacturer. There are, uh, you know, uh, you know, we can say the wholesaler, and you want that, you know, the you are you are the system creator for them. This is just example, like Amazon has made all that other consumer, they are just, the, what Amazon has given is a system. System to distribute or sell. 
That's what the system we are talking about. So like that, there are many more systems which you can think about. Maybe the human resource system, where a system that uh, runs by the people, something they can work in a conjunction with other system. Or the, I'm talking about now something more actually, which is not in this book also. And I'm going to talk about the system, which is an artificial intelligence system now. The way in the, this past book must have written that time, the AI system was not maybe that popular one. But now, if I want to say something here, the fast learner, I will say, build that artificial intelligence system where machine is working for you. Automate the stuff. That is what the AI system, web-based system, AI-based content creation system, AI-based digital marketing system, there you can think about system. So build that system. So the real law of wealth is the, is something where we talk about you are creating a system that is okay. What is important here? It is not to just create a system, but is that system is going to help to the millions? What is the effect of that system? How many you know uh, people you can connect with the system now? Is it a scalable? Is having that magnitude? is having that power where you can affect or affect to the millions you can say. If your system is, is giving value to the millions, is it that scalable? If the system is not scalable, that is not the, the system for the fast enough. Your system should be scalable, should give the you know, value to the millions, should be scalable. So that's what the, the magnitude matters here now. Because the fasteners are, are thinking about to make the profit based on number of unit you sell to the millions. And then every, every uh, uh, unit which are selling which has the magnitude, you get certain profit. The important is not like just like creating the system, which is to, you know, you create one product, but only it is created for the local market. You have one product which is created only for local market and the one product which you created, which is for the global market, whereas that product is sellable at global level. So if your system is helping you to sell at global level, that is the system I'm talking about in the fast lane here. So the mathematics of the wealth, which I just now said, that if you talk about dollars, if we can sell something that gives you even a, a $10 in profits and can sell something gives you the, the 10,000 in profit can sell a hundred units or can sell to the thousands unit. It is up to you now. More you sell, more the profit you generate. So it is your selling system, allowing to sell to the, you know, to the millions. That is what the main object of the fast learner here. So create that system where you can sell to the millions. It is scalable, having that magnitude. So the fast learner always think about how you can generate such a system so you, you are, who is that uh, vehicle? Let me know your vehicle for this system is the you yourself. You are the entrepreneur now. You need a well-oiled and ready vehicle. And do you know who is that vehicle? You are the vehicle. You are the vehicle of that fast learner. You have that skills. You are that system. You are the system here who can generate, who can build that skills now. You are the one who is responsible for making that journey. So you are the vehicle for your wealth. You can pay yourself first. If you don't own yourself, if you don't have that skill, you cannot uh, you know, start your entrepreneurship. Let me know your entrepreneurship depends on you and your skills, not on somebody else's skills. You cannot say, okay, I will start my entrepreneurship because, because my friend is having that skills. I can start my entrepreneurship because my employees have that skill. No, it's not like that. Firstly, you should have that skills to build that system. If you have that skills, you have that ideas, you have that thinking, you have that process, you know like how to do it, that skill is there then, and you can start as a freelancer. And if you can start as a freelancer, you can start entrepreneurship also. So you can then start your cooperation and then start working on it. Having that you know, think about the speed afterwards. Let's say you have that uh, uh, capability to create something, but 
what is important is the speed here. Because most of us, I told you like, is having idea, but idea is having nothing. Idea without execution is of no use. What is important is the, that the scalability and the speed. What is that speed by which you can, you know, you can sell it? What is the speed by which you can make it scalable? So speed matters in the case of, that's why I said time matters in the case of fast and entrepreneurship. So understand that the most important factor in the case of uh, the, the fast uh, lane, later is think about like how you can sell to the, at a scalable level. Now let me tell you, there are, there are many people who are having the ideas and they talk about ideas. There are many money guru, they talk about ideas, but everyone is not rich. Everyone is not able to become the, the wealthy. The only those who can execute it well, who can execute well, that is, they are the winner. They are the, the wealthy people. So let me tell you, it is not just about the idea. Maybe the idea is a small idea may not be that, uh, you know, a very great idea. You may not have the great idea, but what you can have, you may have an idea which is maybe a, a ordinary or the basic idea. But what is what you have is a, is a, uh, the execution speed. If you can sell certain idea with a with a high speed, if you can execute those idea, that is the that is what very important here. So you are you 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 can become a winner when you can execute it. You cannot just become winner if you are not able to execute that idea. So first thing is to understand like, it is all about like, how do you execute that idea? Have a plan, have a, that mindset to execute it. So let's create a plan today and think like, is that idea is going to, you know, you can execute and what step you should take to execute the idea. And many cases you will see, okay, the idea is all about like the, the process. It's all about the process. If you have, if you're following certain process, is that a business system which is a scalable? Is that a having a, you know, the speed? Is that something which is in your budget? Is that you are having the strain and many more things? Think about that fast lane entrepreneur, which uh, tell you like, okay, you can be a retired at a young age. And it tells you like, okay, that the degree and this, whatever the education you are doing is not matter. What matters is the skills. So you think about your uh, skills here, not the just about the idea here. Okay, so giving I have given you already the mathematics that mathematics is very simple here, profit plus asset value. And I told you like that it is all about the unit sold and the profit per unit. And I have given you the idea about all those things now. So think about having that kind of system, which allows you to uh, uh, sell the things to the millions of people. When we talk about wealth, we, we, we think about, you know, that what is wealth? I told you like, you know, the wealth is something where your, your freedom, your family, your friends, your relationship, that is also the wealth. So do you have that freedoms? Do you have that, uh, the great relationship with the family? Are you the producer or are you the consumer? Okay, so let me now tell you like that there are three things, but none of them is money. At some point, you must make your income independent of your time. You always think, okay, like if I do not work today, can I get money? So if we can, uh, you, you have to make that, you have to reach to that level where you can generate the passive income. So think like a producer, not like a consumer. That is what the point I said about the, the fast lane millennial now. So wealth means meaningful relationship with the friends and family, being healthy and physically fit, having the freedom. This is what I say about the three uh, things about the wealth here. Money can only help you so much in building better relationship with your loved ones, transforming your body for unhealth, unhealthy to the top shape. Now let me lose sometimes that we think, okay, okay, the, the, how the money, so money can help you. Okay. But wealth is what actually you are achieving, but money is just one of the source to generate that wealth 
your relationship with the friends, your family, they are all looking for like your support, your help. How much you can support to the fem- uh, to your friend, family and the friends here. And money can give you the unlimited amounts of freedom. So the freedom to live where you want, which country, which city, or the world do you want to do it, right? So that is what the, the wealth and the freedom to eat whatever you want, the freedom to travel where you want. It follows all of your hobbies with a passion, even if they are really expensive. That is what the wealth means. Can you build that system where which, give, which will give you the freedom now? Can you build that system? Maybe the system which is going to uh, you know, help you forever, give the passive income, think about it. Let me do, we have created the, like, uh, the company GKTCS Innovation. I'm into the knowledge transfer. I see the company named Global Knowledge Transfer Consulting Services. We are also into the system. So we have created the system called content system, the education content system. We are continuously building that content system. And we want to help to everyone to learn through the system now. We are automating the entire process. This is not, I'm just telling you like, you know, that, that I'm not just advising to everyone, just saying that we are also into the same process. We have created the content system, it is available now. And we are also into the process where our contents are available at global level now. Anyone from any location in the world can access our content. It's a system. And not only that, our selling system is also automated now. We do not want that someone, you know, to tell you, okay, buy our system. We want the system to say, okay, this is what the value we want to give it to you. So it is all about value creation. So we are interested in to generate the values for the millions now. And our company is continuously, you know, helping the people. So we want to create a system where it helps the businesses. Maybe the recommendation system. And we want the people to be a part of our system now. All those educated, uh, you know, everyone who are the uh, attending my session, they can be a part of our system here. There are five fast lane commandments. And before I actually discuss about these first, uh, five commandments, because till now I have given you an idea about like what the, the slow runner means, what the sidewalker means, and the fast runner means. I hope you got the certain idea about this, all these three points. Like the, it's all about thinking we're talking about. We're talking about the mindset. We're talking about the how you can execute and how you can build the, the system which will allow you to uh, retire at early age. So it is not like you cannot start. So someone uh, uh, may ask the question, when I can start this journey up as a fast trainer? You can start this journey at any point of time. But you have to follow certain commandment. And if you are not following this commandment, you will not be able to achieve this fast trainer. And this commandment I will be discussing in a, in a five minute time. So I will be giving the break here, five to 10 minutes. And also in this break, I want you guys to Write your questions and I will try to answer your question also. Any questions, you can write it. And uh, I request uh, all of you guys uh, to uh, visit our uh, uh, YouTube channel also where I've been, we are sharing the skill building. And there's a website, gktcs.in. There you can join as a you know, uh, as an interns, and you can learn how to build the system. So here, the, there's a portal, jktcs.in, and in that, you'll see there's an internship is there. In that internship, I'll be telling you, like, how you can, you know, build the system, and we have created one system by which you can create a software also. Okay, so the break for five minutes here. Uh, if any question, let me know, because this break is only for uh, a few minutes, and after that, you have to tell me, like, Okay, in this break itself, if any questions are there. I could see the one question here that how to do time management efficiently. It's a great question, uh, uh, Devika. Uh, 
obviously everyone need to learn the time management and uh, it is about setting the priority and also about the the vision you write or the goal you set if you are setting the goal and uh, after having that goal and you are focusing on that goal maybe you have certain uh, plan for it you have to plan for it you have to write a complete plan and schedule it so the main thing is like scheduling the time management is all about scheduling how do you schedule your routine how do you uh, what is the kind of habit you have set okay so uh, if you if you say like you know you do not have time you have to think about like you know priority the best thing is set your priority okay so if if you think about time you will get time only when uh, you set priority otherwise uh, nobody is having time like uh, if i want to retain things i cannot do it right i have to say like okay which is having the most priority and uh, which is having the more priority and which is having the less priority think uh, uh, of that priority which is leading to your vision your goal or your dream and uh, uh, and uh, give the less priority where it is not going to fulfill your dream so that is something which you can focus about the time management here and i think that's itself is a one of the skill which everyone our first need to learn it is not i'm talking about you or everybody need to learn that time management because for the uh, to be a fast learner the most important thing is a time that that is what i say uh, the second question which i received is how to uh, avoid the hurdles in the path of entrepreneurship hurdles are part of uh, entrepreneurship i will say uh, there is no point in avoiding rather than you know if there is a problem you take as opportunity uh, rather than thinking as a hurdle think as a opportunity so i will say uh, the hurdles are the opportunity or rather than thinking about the i know that uh, that this is something uh, uh, because i think the the entrepreneurs are the risk taker and uh, they know how to handle it and as a your mindset should be problem solver not like a you know blamer your thinking should not be a blamer blaming see what is the most important hurdle is a uh, the blaming attitude the mediocre attitude we always think about blaming to the system blaming to the uh, somebody else which is nearby or to the family to someone that you have to take uh, uh, they have to they have to come out from that and think about can you take the responsibility of it if you can take the responsibility yes you can fight with any kind of hurdle then that is the the solution for how to avoid the hurdle take the responsibility all that hurdle is opportunity to uh, you know solve that problems what are the problem comes okay so i hope i answer your questions and uh, uh, i think now we can start the session once again so thank you very much uh, guys for uh, for keeping the patience and uh, we will again uh, start the session now and i'm talking about this uh, this uh, hurdle and all that issue with a proper uh, topic that is the five fast lane commandment now everyone can think to be a you know billion billionaire or millionaire the thinking is not a problem first but then then some people are even having the the fear of thinking also first you have to overcome that fear the big thinking if if that's a fear first you have to overcome it if that you cannot overcome then is a big challenge for you so first Take the one action for it, like you know, why action you can. So I always remember one statement, and I remember that statement is that action cures fear. Action cures fear. That simple thing. That's it. You take the action, you won't have fear. That is very important. You have to have that belief on you. You have to make that system. You have to make. Okay, what is that action you can take it? by which you can build your belief system make your belief system so strong that whatever you are thinking you can do it belief you have to have that strong belief in your mind so first thing is like how you can reach to the how that you know financial freedom can you have financial because most of us thinking about if i work 9 to 5 then only i can get money if i don't and uh, i will not get the money that's what the job system the job system says like okay you work till 65 age if you are working you get promotion you get money that's it but then you are all your your dreams are dependent your dreams are dependent on the organization your dreams are not independent in this case so whether you are going to 
make more money or less money it depends on the organization now and not on you unless and until you take the responsibility for your own skill your own strength your own talent your own innovations your creativity unless and until you take that responsibility over your own 100% responsibility you cannot reach the financial freedom your financial freedom depends on your thinking not even uh, even i will say the job or the system or the the environment because you are the one who is the the driver of your own life nobody else is a driver you are the driving your own life think about your own personality can you make yourself fit can you work hard can you wake up early and do certain exercise can you be a healthy can you can you do certain meditation can you do certain yoga if you cannot then who is responsible is that the family is responsible if you are not healthy is that the somebody else is responsible if you are not fit or if you are not ready you are not having knowledge you are not learning who is responsible if you are not learning if you are not reading if you are not listening who is responsible for that if you are not making plan if you are not thinking who is responsible for that so let me tell you like here it is the it is the person who himself is the ceo of his own company he see you of his own life and that's what you have to think about it like what you can do it is all about the changing the habit your thinking your mindset this is all about the mindset i'll be talking about the mindset also if the time permits because let me do the most important thing in any for all the entrepreneurs or the businessman is about the mindset and mindset decides the decision your decision making capabilities depends on your mindset what is the kind of mindset you are carrying from long time because the kind of enormity you have gone through you have been listening something negative about the money and you don't love money you hate money and if you are hating the money if that is the kind of mindset do you think you can become a rich or if you hate the rich people if that is the kind of mindset then do you think you can become a rich you need to change the mindset if you think that 9 to 5 is the only time which i should work after that i should just enjoy my life as a retirement life then work forever whereas some people think okay i will make the system and work hard for 18 hours and then after that my sister will make money for me have a financial freedom fast so who is the person taking the decision now you are self you yourself is making the decision whether to work hard at early age and make the system or work forever for somebody else that's your decision so very important thing that i'm talking about that do what you love or be your own boss advise the first uh, this five command which which i'm talking about is the the fast lane commandment i'll be talking about the commandment of need the commandment of uh, the entry the commandment of time the commandment of control the commandment of scale this five commandment are very very important for the rapid wealth acceleration your productivity your product receive the commandment of control c commandment of entry e commandment of need n commandment of time t commandment of s scale s sense business commandment understand this sense very very important if you are not in a control of your own business then someone else will have so first thing is the commandment of control here so do you have that commandment of control that is what you have to think about if yes then think about uh, how you can make that commandment of control if you are not in having the control of your business your business should be first of all what is the business you are doing 
do you have that commandment of control on that business or there is that a business which is depend on somebody else is depends on the government is that a business depends on somebody private agency or somebody you know uh, uh, you know who is actually the distributor on that so somebody is then you have to think about like how you can make the control for example if i am i'm just uh, let thinking about like you know having the the people to sell my product if i'm making certain product and i think okay somebody else should sell my product and if there somebody else is not selling and not able to sell i am going to lose my business or if i want somebody else to manufacture or somebody else to create some product and if that somebody else is not creating the product i will not able to do sales so that is something i'm talking about the business which is actually all completely depend on somebody else and you are not taking the responsibility of it you will not able to do business so i'm talking about the kind of business where you have that control you have that skills you have that strength that is very very important if you do not have the skills you cannot start the fast and entrepreneurship the first thing start with your own skills with your strength by which you can control your business you have the skills of marketing sales your productivity your creation innovation learning you are having the uh, the control on your health you are your control on your own life destination that control should be there first with you for example the hitch hacker a content distribution platform i'm talking about something like the content distribution platform let's say i create a content and then i depend on the google ads depends on let's say uh, let's say uh, some other uh, you know the website like maybe sulekha or facebook or linkedin and if i'm depend on if my contents are on depend on that and if they are not providing if they are not distributing for me i will lose my business so i do not want to that give the control rather thinking about to create the organic search you know seo implementation how seo for your digital content rather than miss the organic search should be there rather than uh, the google ads or facebook ads linkedin ads because this ads this company they are in the initial stage is fine but later stage they are going to control your business then so don't give that control to somebody else rather than make uh, the portal in such a way that your contents are reachable to everyone without this uh, the third party hitch hackers to distribute your educational video while it this commandment now if you are creating the lots of educational video and you are dependent on this kind of uh, the other third party google ads or summary ads then you are violated in the commandment of control now so there are lots of business that earn good money from google adsense program it's not that it's not a, a like a way to make money but who is making more money the answer is google who is making more money answer is google okay the next commandment is the commandment of entry now let me know this is like you know your business you are starting and you want to think about your business how do you want to start at all if the road you are choosing is crowded everybody is in that road your house everyone uh, started the same business and it is crowded then with other people you can count on being stuck in a traffic jam just imagine you enter into the road where there is a traffic jam then what will happen means whatever the other people are doing and you are doing the same thing then you are violating the commandment of entry so you need to think differently because your thinking should be like is that like in you know, a business which is the unique business having the usp which is giving more value than others then the commandment of entry is going to be helping you you are like some kind of other people otherwise if you are doing the same business like what others are doing you are trying to copy somebody else in that case so it's a certain knowledge that people must possess to participate 
without the knowledge without that knowledge you don't start also have a sums of money uh, required for the investment and that contact you should have you should have that skill also so the the third thing like one thing i told you like two two commandment i say like entry should be like which is to be a unique usp not like the the traffic jam entry should be the highway not like the 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 shortcut way where everybody is you know traveling the narrow road where everybody is trying think about that road which is going to re- uh, give the destination by which you can reach early this is the point which i want to talk about the commandment of need now this is very important because having the passion we think okay i am a passion because i started my company with the passion let me know why i'm thinking about this and this is why important see having your passion is very important and most of us uh, you know are telling the like uh, do the business of your passion and here let me you guys even when i think about my business i thought about the same thing only that i should start the business where i have my own passion but let me you here i'm going to say you like it is not just your passion matters having the passion is good thing there's nothing wrong but the business is not you cannot run your business just by your passion it is also a base on the need of your consumer what the what the consumer is demanding so it is that doesn't matter if your passion whatever you are having that passion if the consumer is not demanding if they do not want your business you do not want your services your kind of product you are developing if that is not a need i should not start that business having the uh, passion let's say let's say i have a, a, a passion of a health like you know gym i like to have a gym that's my passion i like to do the gym uh, you know 6 hours 7 hours 8 hours that's my passion i will start my gym but if i start my gym and i find like okay already there are five gym surrounded to my location and there i started and there is no need of gym what will happen i am violated in the commandment of need now so understand is that a need in your area or is that a need of the consumer which are the consumer you are targeting think about the need and then combine your passion with that need there there is a commandment of it it's like passion should do passion should allow you to do the business for helping the people so people do not care about what you love what people are caring about having their problems solved can you solve even the a problems of the few actually maybe a problems of 100 problems of thousands problems of so if you can solve the problems that's the commandment of need so self is motive is like doing what you love is a free ticket to the road with a traffic jam again doing what you love is good but then again you are do- entering into traffic jam that is not the people want what the people want what what they actually the people are liking or what the people love what the people what the consumer love what the consumer love that is important not your love so your just love will not give the business your love will be only good for you but not for the business so if you love it chances are that everyone is loves doing it it's quite simple right so offer the world more values and you will become rich now so can you give more values with your love so affect the millions and you will become millions if your love is is something to affect the millions is that affecting the millions if as yes, then you will make the millions then this is a more very important uh, commandment it is a commandment of time now so i told you the commandment of need now so c and t uh so i say like you know already told about the so one of the 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 t is a time here somewhere down the line you must be able to detach yourself from your own business let's say you are doing the business and you think like okay your business is something where making you so much busy and it is happening with me also right now so if my business is making so much busy 
and I think okay, I will not be free forever. I will require to work for almost um, uh, 30, 40 years. Then only my I will get the money. Then that is not the business which is the fast lane business. Then so one time should come where even you don't work, your business should run, your system should run, and you should build the system or the business which should be independent of you. If that is not independent of you, then you are wired in the commandment of time. You should have the time to travel. You should have time to do whatever you want. That time should come. It should be like generating a system for passive income. So make the passive income system. That's what the time, commandment of time is saying. Else you are just doing the job again. Some businesses are like that only. If you don't do it, you don't generate the revenue. So can you make the business which you can build for 10 years, 15 years, 20, whatever is the number of years, and that business is generating the automatic revenue? Can you leverage the time? That is what you have to think about the commandment of time means. And now, if your business or your, your entrepreneurship is not scalable, you started the business, but the business is only helping to the 10, 20 people or 100 people only. Let's say I started the gym here. And the gym is helping to 100 people. Can I have 100 gym? Very difficult. So think about like, you know, is that a scalable model? Is that a business which is scalable? If not, think about it. Think what, how you can make it's scalable. And that is a commandment of scale. And if you can have the business system, which is the, the fast lane business system I'm talking about, which is fulfilling this five commandment, all five uh, commandments, then only you are entering into the fast lane entrepreneurship here. So the law of affection is very important in this case. That how many people you can you know, you know, help with the help of your business. So sometimes the questions comes to, you know, uh, you know, I actually given you the, all that points, which were uh, the important point. So my uh, topic is actually almost uh, concluded for whatever I want to say about the fast lane entrepreneurship here, that what is the fast lane entrepreneurship is all about the creating that business system, that business system, which is going to help to the millions. That is what the system is. But then uh, there, there are questions I'm going to answer in a different way. Like for example, here there are some questions. Uh, what is the difference between the entrepreneurs and the employees? So entrepreneurs, they are working for themselves. They are working for yourself is entrepreneurship. And uh, employees means working for somebody else. So are you building your skills while working? That is important because sometimes uh, because I remember like when I started working that time, although I was working for the organization, I was also working for myself. Building my own skills, building my strength, that is important. If I'm not, uh, see, I left the job only because when I found like I'm not uh, building my skills, I'm not actually going to get any benefit out of you know it. So that is not something which is the organization for you then. Which of the organization is not allowing it to build your strength, your skills, are not uh, helping you for your own self-development, that is not the organization for you. You have to think about yourself, your growth, as well as the organization role. So I'd like to say, it's not like you have to leave the job. Wherever you're working, if you can build the skills while working also, you're also following the rules of the fast lane name. So entrepreneur build your dreams. So build your dream is something where the entrepreneur think about, okay, like for example, I'd like to help the millions of people I would like to the educate or empower the millions of the people. That's what I would like to think about. So when I think about that, so that's a dream. Whereas the, the employee think about that, what the boss dream is all about. So that's a, that's a differences between the, the entrepreneurs and the, the employees. In this case, you take, think about the scale, your income, uh, the entrepreneur think about how you can scale it. And the employee think about uh, the trying to climb the uh, ladders in a step-by-step -step manner. In this case, the, uh, the entrepreneur think about being independent, whereas employee think about depend on your boss. 
mindset matters here so do you have that mindset to think independently work to live your dreams as entrepreneur always think about dream they work for that dream whereas here work to live on the weekend so here the things are different if, you know you just think about uh, uh, living here and they work on the weekend for that not for the dream just for the uh, uh, live only okay the discipline case the entrepreneur has a discipline for yourself I mean, discipline yourself here they have their own discipline whereas employees are just stick to the schedule okay 9 to 5 not more than that uh entrepreneur think about taking the big risk whereas the uh, employee think about the comfort zone am i comfortable then entrepreneur think about you know they are aware about the failure also they are okay with the failure whereas uh, employees always wanted to be uh, safe would like to be in the comfort zone entrepreneurs you are never 100% safe that's what the entrepreneur know like you know that not 100% safe but uh in the case of employee they say like good work is no worries i have a great work i don't need to worry about money they don't want to have the uncomfortable zone here so everything comes with the advantages and disadvantage you decide which path you want to go slow lane or fast lane that's your choice i think there are a lot of things to say but then let me tell you lastly that you can only become truly accomplish at something you love don't make money your goal instead pursue the thing you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off of you that is what's very important thing that whatever work you do wherever you do do it with a 100% responsibility do it something unique if your work is something which is you know uh, highlighted you are the entrepreneur and just work with a with a full of love and enjoyment and this is here i am concluding my session on the uh, belong our uh, next uh, this is a fast lane entrepreneur although there is a lot to share but i would like to, you know because we have the we have certain time to uh, finish this session so if there is a question i am here to answer the question uh, we do have a you know the career pathway for the all those guys who like to join on uh, as a work as a interns so we have internship in the jkdc site maybe i can share that also uh, and uh, my team also uh, is there there is a sanket we have our team members like a sanket and uh, uh, there are team members like uh, amit is there and uh, we have a one, uh, the sanket is a project manager in jkdc innovations and uh, we have kajol she is uh, taking care of the the project guidance she is act actually the she can she has done lots of work in jkdc all all the three uh, you know they they are actually following this uh, the they are working like a entrepreneur my company they are not working as an employee and uh, as a result uh, we are growing very fast uh, in terms of the content creation and the the kind of value we like to give to the on, you know the to the uh, millions that we are able to do it now so let me know we are also into the same path okay so uh, it's not like we are just saying to somebody else but we are also following the fast lane entrepreneurship path here the object is to give the value to the millions and that is what we are trying to do it so i will uh, um, um, i'd like to thank you all that uh, participant here who joined for this uh, uh, two hours workshop on uh, fast lane entrepreneurship let me know i am not a uh, uh, the management guru or i am not uh, the guru for the entrepreneur but i would like i am into the you know because i am doing the entrepreneurship for past now you can say 11 years so with that experience i can tell you like i uh, like this uh, in the mindset of entrepreneur and i am practicing it every day that i am not just saying to someone without practicing it so uh, it is always said that lead by example and uh, I, i think the uh, i'm also the entrepreneur uh, uh, you know i think for uh, who is actually following the the road map of we can say the fast lane okay so uh, uh, thank you very much here and uh, i'm concluding the session here so if any question i answer.